Hello and welcome to Coach Repin, episode four on Brad Weber and with me as always is Michael Allardyce and this week on the pod uh, we've got li- uh, two very uh, professional guests, esteemed some would say, esteemed yeah. guests, yeah, Liam Messam and, and Michael Leach, two, uh, two very close mates and, and, and close friends of you and I, Michael, uh, through our time with, with the Chiefs, it's great to have them on, especially just before... Uh, Liam jets over to France, so we caught him at the best time, didn't we? Yeah, no, it was actually, um, in terms of episodes, we have filmed, well, recorded, I should say. Um, probably right up there's one of the the funnier ones, I thought. Um, I think we were chuckling away at ourselves quite often. We talked a few things, uh, conspiracy theories. Um, yeah. What else did we chat? Recovery, Alici's um, intense recovery protocol, some of the weird and wonderful things he tries to do, get his body right yeah. at, um, at the young age of 30. He's probably one of the most professional guys you and I have ever come across, or uh, certainly the way he looks after his body, and he, he had a fairly good point as to, as to why he did it, didn't he? Yeah, exactly, uh, and you can listen on to the episode and you'll uh, find <laughs> out. Yeah, exactly, and uh, once again, obviously, thanks to our sponsor, www.oneday.co.nz. Uh, go head along to their website for, for many great deals at, at, uh, that reset at midday each day. And um, thanks to oneday.co.nz, uh, we've got a great prize package coming at you, some um, some more giveaways, which we've uh, – we obviously just went on our – on our um, on our fishing tour the other day, didn't we, Mike? Yeah. And what a charter it was, um, Brad. Obviously, not so much for you. You mm-hmm. probably spent more time catching Z's, and I spent more time catching fish. I think yeah. it was the uh, the big old elusive the, kingy, the elusive kingy. No cooties, no cooties, no cooties, but uh, kingies galore. It's so, fun. And and obviously that was one through one day dot and and with with code tripping. So um, well done to the winner. Yeah, I'm sure she had a great time, and um, obviously again this week uh, we'll have some more prizes to give away. Um, but stay tuned on it on our social media channels to find out um, find out what we've got going on there. And, uh, but other than that, I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's time. Yeah, sit back, enjoy Liam Messam and, and Michael Leach on Code Tripping, and to bring us in just a bit of sunshine summer. Fellas, thanks for, for joining us for, for Co Trippin'. It's been a while, so we've been looking to get you on for, for a while. Um, Liam Messam and Michael Leach, thanks for joining us, boys. No worries. Sweet. It's good to see you found some money to pay us to come on. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's well, we've got one day. Coded on Z. Uh, they might be bankrupt after the <laughs> band YouTube boys for, to come on, but thanks a lot, boys. We usually start off, we go through the nicknames because we obviously um, talk of nicknames all the time, but mm-hmm. the people that are listening don't, don't understand. and Leachy, do you even hit it? Or Leachy? Yeah. You just it's it. got heaps. Leachy son. Yeah, yeah, hungry. Leech. Yeah. Reach. Leachy son. Leachy son. Godzilla. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to talk about Godzilla um, later. What's his name of Planet of the Apes? Caesar. 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 <laughs> well, that's your <laughs> When did we uh, unclean Caesar? Is that, is that Japan thing? Well, the Caesar one. Yeah, but this is stuff in Spanish. Yeah, I know, but like, I'm going to pick up and look at him. Do you have me? Could be borderline racist. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I reckon borderline. It probably, probably is. But. Yeah. Um, and hunger yours? You hunger? Hunger. Yeah. A story behind that one. There's a great story behind it. What a fun story! Great, but it's a hunger buster. Eh? Hunger it wasn't. I I took the buster, but uh, <laughs> it was uh, when I first moved up to Hamilton. I was like 18, 19, and I was just hard out in the sevens. Um, in the the older lads were real good, they took me under the wing and they always took me out to, to lunch or dinner and went to this, um, like bro, you gotta understand, when I was younger I was, like yeah, I was handy, bro. Big like I ate, bro, I ate. <laughs> um, bro, I ate boiled chicken and boiled veggie every night, bro. That's no how hard, shit, no just shit. Eat. That's how hard I was, bro. Just, yeah, you want, you want kidneys, you come see me. Um, I was hard out, so we would go for, for lunch anyway. And um, that took me to like Chinese and KFC, like Key Flow, and it's like the yeah. biggest pub in New Zealand rugby. <laughs> and I take to all these places, bro, and like trying to be, they're trying to be good dudes. Yeah. And I wouldn't eat, and I'd be like, oh no, no, I'm not going to have a feed. But I was, bro, I was starving. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll get home, so I'll come with Keith, and I'll just smoke back my poor chicken, and then probably goes, there's your nickname, Hungry. <laughs> so that's where Hungry came from, and then our, um, our Islanders, our Dollies in our team, they yeah. say Hungry probably. I think it was City Mini. And oh, yeah. They say Hungry, so it just ended up short cutting to Hunger. Yeah. Oh. I think Gus put the bus to the end of it, so. So blame him. Well, because um, Beaver and Sidavini were quite close, eh? Yeah. After reading his book. So could, but, so if 
City couldn't really speak too well. The, 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 like Beaver. Well, we kind of, first moved to Hamilton. kind of learn, learn how to speak for Jim. Okay. So, so when we first yeah. moved to Hamilton, there was us three and two other blokes in one three bedroom apartment house. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but they all lived with each other. Yeah. So we played the Wesley in the final the year before yeah. when we came to Hamilton and we had City being his 21st at home one night. <laughs> So do you want You played the uh, high school final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> a year later, you have his 21st day. So that would be why they won, won yeah. the whole thing that year. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, funny. Well, because I remember, because you were at Rotorua Boys, they hung it. 100%. Only one boys high in the country. Because <laughs> I was, my granddad used to take me to the Napier Boys games, and I'm, because that was when they had like Berkey, Brent Evans, and they, you guys just have some, nah, get that as well. I thought it was like 2000, 2001 or something. Because eh? yeah. you guys won nationals yeah. in your year. Back to back. But you drew, you drew with Nathan Boys in the final, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, I remember going and watching those games thinking they were awesome. Was, yeah. Be- was Becky playing eight then? Or was he goal nah, kicking eight? He was playing eight. He might have been playing full back. Full back then. <laughs> but I do remember that one game against Napier. I'm not probably the most double embarrassing, but they had a, they were smoking us. It was yeah. Napier. They yeah, yeah I think I watched that game. They had a scrum. 30 hour whatever down the middle their whole back line we lined up in single file oh, behind the scrum yeah. and they jumped out like ballerinas bro oh, yeah. like, that, that, that doesn't that doesn't sound like Napier means at all that's, that's exactly what you can see there you go they yeah. yeah. when, when you have to tell yourself you're against the way and you're a teenage boy yeah. Your, your upbringing though leads you a little bit different your transition from NZ to Japan schoolboy tell us a bit about your school trip that turned into your life yeah I never got to play first 15 yeah so I never got mm. to go through, go through all that but then uh, yeah when I was 15 had the opportunity to go over there I, was, I think I was under 16 B's or A's or something like that with St. Beads. St. Beads, and then went over there I was about 75 kg's Oh, so so I, wasn't the, <laughs> I wasn't the biggest. <laughs> and then I just got beat up by all the Japanese boys. Yeah? Yeah. Got wasted. And then, uh, you know, I just got, yeah, just, you know, got a shock to the system. Yeah. Started to eat, started to train, then packed on 20 kgs. And you sort of started. And you started, stayed over there. So did your, did your old move over with you or did you just. No, nah, I went over there by myself. Oh, that's yeah. brave, eh? No move. Good on you. Yeah. But yeah. like, we've noticed that um, you two have become pretty close over the last couple of years, especially since you moved to Japan. Because you, you you played for the Chiefs in, or you were with the Chiefs in, was it 2012? No, 2013 first came over. 2013. With a broken arm. That's right. Yeah. Did um, did Hunger talk to you back then, or was nah, he... Um, he wouldn't talk nah, to you then. Nah. <laughs> nah, they were all up on the top. I was just like, <laughs> <"Wide>, uh, <laughs> on the, I, I was a wider, wider training group. Was never here, mate, that's why. No, I was there yeah, even more. Just, <laughs> and doing your rehab. Re- just doing my rehab. Had my hammer in the gym, on the treadmill. <laughs> These guys were with Richard Kahui, Mon Schwalger. Oh, we had Sonny Bill there. Um, Clark... Far out, just stacked with four blacks. Yeah, they knew. Only one person in that ten those names you called played all blacks, but that's right. Not Clucky. No, who did play? Who did play? No blacks either. Yeah, Aaron Cruz. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah, why I love yeah, this no. man, bro. Yeah, just, no, I, you know, just to name a <laughs> few. Yes, yeah, yeah. Aaron Cruden was there. Well, you didn't name Aaron Cruden. Yeah, I'm talking about like far out. This was back in 2013. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron Crude and Sam Kane. That's so, so did you really take him under your wing when you when he moved to Japan? Yeah. I had to look after him pretty much. Oh, I mean nice. that's yeah. 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 Be pretty, be, a, be a pretty big deal in Japan though, to be fair. I think we got an mm. insight to that when we made our way over this year for the Summers. No, well, <laughs> not really. Hunger, tell us how it it's really tell is. Us, tell us what it's like walking down the street with Lichi. It's hard to explain, like, there's the emperor of Japan. <laughs> and there's the, is it a president or prime minister? Uh, it's prime minister. Well, I think. prime minister and then Lichi sits in between those two. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're not, like, you yeah. go anywhere with this thing, like, just so recognisable one because they probably think he's Caesar off the movie yeah, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah he's just next he's just, yeah he's got up there he's, he tries to wear a turban and sunglasses yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So he tries to hide his, his appearance but yeah no, but it's yeah because I, I didn't realise how big of a deal you were over there till we went over and you picked, us, you picked us up in your Range Rover 
walking around the streets with your hood up and <laughs> yes. showing us the sights. Got to, got to go see Godzilla, and that was a bit of the yeah, experience well, in itself. No, the car, I'll never <laughs> buy a car like that. What sponsors okay. that? It's just because the World Cup's coming, they give oh. a couple of players a free car. So why, take why wouldn't you give the Emperor of Japan a free <laughs> yeah, car? Exactly, yeah. No, to drop no, down? No. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you only run your player for a short amount of time, oh, yeah, so no, no. just you know, yeah. drive around. I feel um, but yeah, just dro- walking around Tokyo, because I'm a nice person, if someone <laughs> asks for a photo, I'll always say yes, yeah, and these guys always give me, you know, give me grief shit. about yeah. it. Yeah. They say, just say no, but you know, these oh, are like kids, kids oh, and grandmas yeah. and that, this guy's like, just let, just tell them to go away. <laughs> but I'm not like saying that. Too nice, Lee <laughs> So, um, oh, I saw on your Instagram today, uh, was it yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. You got a um, camera crew following you around at the moment, Leachy? Is, yeah. uh, no. is it Leachy the movie? Or? No, 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 nothing like that. It's uh, No, it's just a World Cup preview, oh, okay. just to see what I get up to in New Zealand. Player insight. Yeah, that sort of, um, yeah, it's got me in a little bit of trouble with my wife <laughs> because she's only here for a for one week yeah and three of those days were you filming yeah and so yeah so I was trying to, now, well I did now, tell now her yeah. 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 I'm surprised you even turned up to this though because you got a book like months in advance for this man no 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 because no, no, we, 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 like, we live in a little place called Fuji yeah like you expect to see each other quite a bit <laughs> Nah, always got time to see. Oh, always got the free one at dinner. Hold on, go for my bring my PA. Always one at dinner. You were at my house all the time. You were at my house all the time. That's so good. Um, pretty on wide, wider rugby circles. Lisa, you were recovery wise. Like you're pretty like probably like top of the range. Like you got your LeBron James, who they say spends like six figures on his recovery and everything like that. Not that you spend six figures, but. Hey, you're, like, no, like you've just, got your saunas, what bike, yeah. your physio comes, travels with you <laughs> to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about it. Um, yeah. What other sort of stuff have you gone into that you recovery wise? No, I just see it as uh, I'm a casual. ultrasound. No, I'm a Hold on, casual. I was off with you. Ultrasound. <laughs> the massa- massage thing that like it heats up. Oh yeah, the, oh, yeah, the yeah, ultra yeah. is it ultrasound? Nah, 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 nah. It's, it's, like, it's like ultrasound. It's one that does yeah, heat sounds. Oh, okay, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like a um, sleepy mattress thing. <laughs> what else you got? Oh, every single stretch band you can think of, every um, trigger ball you can think of. Mm. So you'll probably be playing to your fifty then. <laughs> no, I'm just you know, just <laughs> long term, you know, long term investment, you know. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, short, yeah. short bit of money here, little amount of money here, spend here and there. So you talk about LeBron spending a million dollars on his body, but he's got what? What's he worth? Yeah, three hundred million. Yeah, yeah, probably more. So Leachy's probably worth three million. Ugh. Don't probably spend yen. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no. It's, it pays for itself. If I can, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. can have one more year of playing, then it will pay for itself. Thousand yeah, I don't yeah. disagree with you. It's just like a good insight for people listening. Like the recovery stuff you go through. I mean, we will look at you at and how uh, professional you are with that kind of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, you're definitely the most professional guy of. Only, well, s- only some one people one know the real me. Like there's a Chiefs me, then there's the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We just sold the 300 million vol- uh, yeah. followers the lads And he's a Toshiba me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so good. Dex, um, Kane Hames got in touch with us. He wanted to know what the... You obviously do a lot of this recovery stuff. What's the weirdest thing that you've done that you think you reckon works? The weirdest thing I've done? Like, like recovery-wise, like, recovery right. not... Well, well, well we can go into that. Because <laughs> 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 no, like your general recovery that we talk about is like skins, eat right, drink water, sleep colds, all that kind of standard stuff. The weirdest? Yeah, well, like, it's one that people would be like, obscure, and like, you know, that's pretty out there, out of the box, thinking... Uh, <laughs> Oh, far out. Uh, weirdest one I'd know. Oh, the Japanese treatment in general. Mm. But, well, if you got a sore calf, they rub your shoulder. Oh, like, yeah. So you're like finding different trigger points. Yeah. What's going on with all my calf? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, um, smoke. Smoke. So smoke, like cigarettes. No, not smoke, but there's this, um, there's like it. kind of weed type. Um, from from no, it's a weed <laughs> and yeah, it's weed and it's a Chinese weed yeah. and you burn it and it promotes blood blood flow. I've got some at home. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then you, um, you 
heat it up and it's and you, it's it's real smoky, and you put your stomach like you you got a bucket and you put your stomach over it and it's supposed to absorb through your well skin it's supposed to help blood flow and that's yeah. one of the weirdest things yeah, I've, yeah. I've got some actually I'll give you some <laughs> yeah, yeah. have you seen yeah. those little ones where they stick those little sticky yeah, yeah. things on you and they yeah. light it on fire yeah. it's Chinese yeah oh and was that it burns yeah on top. and it's oh, yeah. or was it like the cupping it's sort of like yeah sort of so it's like a little metal yeah, it's like a stick on thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got like these you herbs in it. It's got these herbs oh, in it. And you light it. And you light it, so you light it all up and uh-huh. it promotes blood flow. So that's probably the weirdest yeah, one. Mm. Wow, well, you get burnt. <laughs> you don't be stupid. <laughs> if you be stupid, you get burnt. I've actually got some burn marks. <laughs> but um, mm. yeah, the best recovery is getting the right boots. So another thing, you on the toe socks as well, eh? Yeah, toe socks. I'll give an advocate for that one, eh? Oh, you teach me, bro. Yeah. A lot, of people, a lot of people gave me a bit of grief with the toe socks. They said, oh, you're full of, you know, whatever. But once they try it, never go back. Okay, so it's fine. Except, no, no, um, we, you know how when you go to Japan and they give you gifts and stuff, like yeah. the fans and stuff, um, a lady gave me some these socks with the toe things. I just looked at them and I was like, what the hell are these? So, but they're, they're, so good. Are they, okay, they're sitting in my room right now. I'll so to, put, the on go put them on. Oh, I did my Bronco in that and I've really? got four minutes 37. On a bronco. Bull, bullshit. Because yeah. you do toe socks on. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> has to, has to be. She needed to run one, run one like a week before and... Nah. Is the toe socks no, I reckon, the socks I reckon like, I, I surprised myself. That's, yeah, that's, that's a massive, that's a, that's a good score. And you, so one you thing I see how that's a bit out, out the gate comment where he just said that it was the toe socks, toe socks yeah. bronco. So you need to know something about Leachy that he's got the biggest and weirdest theories in the world you'll ever ever come across <laughs> yeah. so one he thinks the world is flat even the car oh. I'll, just, I'll just leave that out there he also thinks you can walk faster <laughs> if you walk same aim, same arm same leg I've seen them so same get up and try to walk up same arm same leg you teach your arm by how to run because that's how he just he just struggles with it <laughs> he's he's got any kind of movement or coordination I think he struggles seriously same leg same arm same leg so apparently you can walk to Osaka to Tokyo which is <laughs> That's oh, you, you couldn't even walk there. You reckon you can walk there in half a day? So no, walk, it's a run. I'll oh, run the same arms I mean, yeah. So oh, you know, more momentum. <laughs> well, you, know, you, know, you know those tuk-tuk things you carry? Yeah. Those, what do you call them? Tuk-tuks. Yeah, and you, and you dig, on, Yeah, in yeah. Kyoto. Yeah, so they used to run people around, and that's where they got it from. So if, you, if you're if you a runner like that, you, get, you can run faster and longer. I'm not so faster I wouldn't say faster right yeah. no, no, you just said faster because you said longer you can walk faster you can run faster to Tokyo yeah. so it's like that photo that, that one yeah, right? no, it's it's a it's more cool, yeah. yeah we'll have to get one up for the yeah yeah okay interesting yeah. only people that know know if you're in the know you know, you know. any other conspiracy <laughs> theories yeah, what about what about the flat ass? Should we talk a little bit? Yeah, about that? No. yeah please do so yeah, just, just, yeah. Wait, we'll, we'll, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll come maybe we'll come back to it or something 9-11 was it an inside job 100% <laughs> well, I need to bring my brother what other ones have you got the CIA killed JFK he's got JFK. so many bro he's got so many the CIA killed JFK yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> nah there's heaps I've already looked at all of them on the internet yeah, yeah he's intrigued pretty... deep deep stories about some of those ones yeah has he converted you hunger no, no? Oh, oh, man. Man. who thinks the world's flat <laughs> oh, well, obviously he's not there's but, another one what's but, the one that you said that's um Oh, the Chinese. Oh. Uh, take over the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I I, maybe I'll do yeah. this one because it's, it's, it's not my sense. theory. It's one I heard when we went to Sony. We went to Sony. Yeah. And there was like Chinese, a movie. Japanese Chinese company. Sony, yeah, Japanese, Japanese, and it was like a movie um, preview for Tomb Raider. Was it Tomb Raider or? Um, oh, the one that we watched. Um, yeah, uh, Biohazard. And the CEO there was saying that China build what 34 new cinemas a day and they said that China is going to take over the world soon just purely but, production but and... yeah the reason behind it was after, when they had the war second world war so um, they made their labour cheap and their currency cheap as mm. so all the foreign companies came in and started investing yeah. into China all their what do you call it? Big companies, yeah, yeah. cheap labour. So everyone came in, and so China's got everyone circled in. Yeah. Circled in, and then um, 
now they're starting to strengthen their currency yeah. and raising the minimum wage. People are hooked in there. So all these companies are in there, and then they have they're going to have to they can't do business anymore. <laughs> So yeah. trying to end up yeah. buying these companies, buying these factories. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, so and that's the, from, there they, from there they take over the world. The brain, take well, not take over the world, but they're going to be yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be the big superpower. Yeah, they're going to be the superpower. Yeah, so that's one theory, but you know, that, who knows? That it actually makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's oh, it's very smart. Yeah. Very smart. There's yeah. a lot of lessons you can take out of there, you know, long term. Yeah, I was going to say, they're really, they're really playing the long game there, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, long game. <laughs> We've come up with that theory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hunger, you obviously come from a, a humble upbringing in, yeah. in, in Rotus. Do you want to look, because you, you're adopted, eh? is that right? Yeah. You and your brother? Yeah, so uh, actually five of us have got a family of eight. Yeah. Big family, um, three OGs, the yeah. oldest, so the uh, OGs, and then. Five of us are adopted. Yeah. So it's a big family of eight. Um, he was on trade me for about six weeks. I think I was. And, and, uh, How much did you go for? I probably could have gone to Napier actually. So oh, it's yeah? the Napier, um, New Plymouth, or um, Vegas. Man, imagine the man you would have become if you were a good boy. Who knows, mate? Who knows? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so um, <laughs> no, I ended up uh, in Vegas. So I was like yeah. three weeks old, I think. So that's home and. Um, had an awesome upbringing, massive, massive family. Um, mum and dad always fostered children as well. Yeah, yeah. So no, no matter what, we had kids coming in and out of our house. Um, yeah. No, ever since I can remember. So I've had about over a couple of thousand kids come through the home. Yeah, far um, so out, really. Yeah, so far wow. Out. Yeah. Mum and dad got a big heart. Um, yeah. Good kids, you know, struggle free in a loving environment. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Around, eh? Oh, that's unreal, actually. I didn't know that. I didn't know that much. Yeah, so, no, they're awesome people, bro. They moved up to Hamilton um, a couple of years ago now to be oh, closer yeah. to all the grandchildren. But unfortunately, uh, the grandchildren are up to the of France. Because yeah. <laughs> bro- your brother played, does he play football? Yeah, he played, he played football um, for Hawke's Bay, actually. Oh, yeah? Hawke's Bay, yeah. Cambridge. Yeah. Um, mm. Went to the Beijing Olympics, I think, with the All Whites. Oh, right. oh shit. Um, Probably worried about too much about his guns and his body um, instead of his actual soccer, so he probably could go a long way actually. But um, he still plays a bit in Aussie, but um, he is, he is pretty, pretty unreal at cricket too. So, mm-hmm. is he your older brother? No, nah, he's my younger brother. So, I've got four, there's four boys, four girls in our family. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, spent, there's a bit of an age gap between all of us. Yeah, me yeah. and my younger brother are two years apart, so we spent all our time uh, growing up playing sports and beating the shit out of each other, which was all. I came out on top, which was good boys. <laughs> and that's why he plays soccer, is it? That's why he plays soccer. Because <laughs> um, you, like, I found that we were probably, when we come onto the professional scene with the Chiefs and that, or the Super Rugby, that was very professional and, like, you know, like it's not as old school as it used to be. Like, the story's here, yeah, man. Yeah. Because yeah. so you, you reckon you got best of both worlds? And like, what do you see? What's the difference between now and then, do you think? Like, yeah, so when I first started, it was the, I think that generation was the first professional. So they had, that's the guys that got all the money. And yeah. mate, they were just buying toys and <laughs> like what Damien McKenzie does at the moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. buys all the toys and gadgets. <laughs> and, and, and so, yeah. um, he gets a lot of freebies here. Yeah. yeah. Sean Stevenson's. And like, so. um, Oh, like after every campaign the boys would just blow out yeah just eat drink whatever they wanted and I, just, I just thought that was the, the norm. normal yeah but uh, obviously it's not because you, you can't you know you can't do what they were doing but um, yeah I think I did get best of both worlds because um, yeah. yeah all those older dudes um, like rugby was different yeah. like the environment was different like as a younger player you just come in you wouldn't say a word just, just work hard. put your head down bro and, and, and do your work um, and, and their respect then you can can say something yeah <laughs> And I said I was real lucky that all the older dudes for some reason um, took a liking to me and put me into the moment pretty quickly. Um, David yeah. Briggs put me onto his bus on the seat next to him. Briggsy. Briggsy. Good piece of hooks back. Good back. Yeah, there you go. It's like, grabs, third, fourth from the left, you guys. Sit next to me, bro. We'll be right. I was like, sweet days. Mm-hmm. And uh, Keith Long and that also took me under their wing, John O'Kib. So I was a pretty good company, yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You, You've got a wee story about your first... 
Oh yeah, actually, I wanted to. Um, I don't know if you remember this. this no, nah, nah, it is. It's all the stuff. When um, <laughs> when I first turned up to Chiefs, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, I'm going to have my head down. I'm not going to say a word to any of you senior boys. But you were great as soon as we come in. Like, you know, felt like you'd say anything. But I remember you'd obviously watched me play for for Waikato, and you're like, oh. You said to me, "Oh, I reckon you could. You're a chance of being my favourite white boy, Webby. You're oh, yeah, um, so right. a tough, tough little boy." I was like, "Oh yeah, okay." I just sort of brushed it off. <laughs> so that's pretty so cool. Yeah, hey, I was, I was, I was like, "Rough with it." You got yeah, wrote to your memo recording. You're like, "Today was the best yeah, day of my life." Wrote, wrote, wrote a plan out as to how I'm going to be Hunger's favourite white boy. It's just sitting in my room actually. Uh, but then when we played my first game against the Crusaders. And we do our um, initiation after that, have three beers. And you said to me, you'll definitely be my favourite white boy if you will risk the first two. So I did, and then spewed on J-Lo. <laughs> so what I want to know is, have I become your favourite white boy, or have I been overtaken, slash not quite got to beaver level, like like oh, you said to me that first day? Yeah. Shade, throw a shade on you. Yeah. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. It's like, Beaver is like... Oh, he's hard to, he's I, would, I would never um, never think to overtake Beaver. He's, he's hard. But you're in the same... Like, I'm putting in the same category. Oh, shit. You're playing the same competition. Yeah, you're in the same comp, mate. In the same league. Yeah. Sort of like... Clippers versus oh no, your Hawks versus Golden State. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're you're in top, I'm in the competition, top, okay. but I'm getting by. You're now. the right comp. <laughs> right yeah, uh, you're a chance to win it, but you're probably yeah. not realistically going to win. I'm tanking. So. Oh, yeah, that's good to know. I wanted to no, confirm that. I wonder, wonder if you remember that. So, but mind you, Beaver is slowly becoming my least favourite. <laughs> why is it? No time for me anymore, eh? Married? Oh, no, no, I don't think it's there. Just don't get invites to go fishing yeah, in this. That, oh, yeah. yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm since we've been 16 years old and that's right. I see him yeah. taking Sean Stevenson fishing instead of, <laughs> instead of asking me to go fishing. Yeah. Oh, mate. He's like upgrading, you could say, yeah. the newer model. The newer model. To be fair, last time I heard you went fishing, it was no good. You ended up running out of gas. Yeah, we did actually. <laughs> Just halfway down the Great Barrier or something. Yeah. Pretty much went to Samoa <laughs> to, catch, to catch some big harpooka and then Beaver's uh, got some uh, electric reels from Japan. Opened oh, yeah. up instructions in Japanese were just like <laughs> So tried to put that together, couldn't work and just like, but we're gonna run out of petrol. <laughs> turn around, turn around, got to what's the island? Merck. Merck's Merck. Merck's, Merck's yeah. like, was pretty much next to us. And just <sighs> just enough to get to the Merck's bro. Oh, so you got to the Mercs. Yeah, yeah, so what people wanted to do, people wanted to go to the middle of the ocean, turn the key off, and then drift back to land. And Matsurangi oh, was, was ages away. That's a smart idea. Yeah, and I'm just like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's stupid as fuck. We got to the Mercs, and uh, there's a big sign saying no trespasses. Yeah. And we're just like, oh, and Ben was like too scared, so he's asking all these diesel boats, like, oh, we're going to need spare petrol. Like he's got this big flash 10 meter yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like white pointer thing whatever it is <laughs> and, and then well, we were just lucky at the time that the farmer of the island and the owner was there bro oh of, of the Merck yeah the Merck so he just bro, saw, once he saw Beaver he's just like ah! <laughs> <laughs> we ended up spending about an hour on the island bro just chewing the fat with the owner and he's like yeah mate fill up your oh yeah your boats, everything so. it's a dream days. result <laughs> we had a few quick fires yeah, might as well. Um, right, let's we'll go to a quick few a quick fires that come in from a few fans and whatnot. Um, so we'll ask the question and then maybe each you answer. So your favourite feature on yourself? Lead you first? My bum. Ooh, we're right, so, well, that's yeah. good. Okay. My seat, sorry. <laughs> My seat. My seat. <laughs> the wife loves it. Well, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's just blowing me away. Uh, my favourite feature would have to be um, my ears. Your ears. Okay. Yeah, it's favourite feature. Hard working, mate. Yeah, these are hard working ears. But clip, uh, yes, they're actually quite even. Yeah. Like you see a lot of one like person where like yeah. like eight and roll sees the clips. Like one's pure, and one's good. Yeah. And it was probably quite even. This is mine. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, true. Mahi, it's yeah, not true. far off, legit. It's mine. It's like I ain't got no bloody hole, nothing. Oh, you're on that one? Yeah, Mitch yeah. Brown, diff. <clears throat> um, okay, this is quite a cool one. Um, so you got a cast a New Zealand Super Rugby team, who goes, Leachy? Cut a Super Rugby team? New Zealand Super Rugby team. team. One of the five, who goes? Uh, Steve, two rings, yeah. It's, if you don't answer, then the Chiefs are gone, so you got to choose. 
Well, the honest has to be the Blues. Blues got to go. Why? Well, just performance. Yeah, just, well, just just performance based. I mean, you couldn't, you can't cut a team that's you know won a title, which well has won a title no, in the last sort of couple good years. Reason, yeah. I'll cut the Chiefs and I'll send them up to Tokyo and I'll be the, uh, the head coach. coach. Yeah. And we'll have like, one hell of a time. <laughs> that's great. Uh, the Tokyo Chiefs. Yeah. Some of they gone with two. No, no, Tokyo. No, there's, there's there'll be two. We'll, we'll still be the Chiefs here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be in the, like the heart of Rapongi. Uh, we train Tuesday, Thursday night. Cover your point. Uh, the, own, the own training, your own uh, fitness. Jim, we'll see you guys at 6.30 at training. Also, the also we caught him when you get there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll have to... I'll have to... Uh, well, who knows? It might be, you know... Based on South France. <laughs> South France. Long more travel for games for weekend, though. Mm. Um, all right, uh, Spoon Knife Fork. So, your yeah, Spoon is... Um, your long-term. Who you're keeping long-term. Your Fork is just overnighter. And your knife is getting rid of them. So three people. So for hunger, we've got beef, lats, and lychee. Ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mate. This all could be. So one of them, you're, you're marrying essentially one of them, you're overnight. And the other one gets the axe. So you've got beef, lats, and lychee. Who goes where? <sighs> okay, lats. <laughs> Just controversial. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll cut them. Yeah. <laughs> I would, um, what's that one? A night with lychee or beef? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have a night with beef just oh, because what? everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone knows what's, what's under those underwear. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know. So that's oh. why I'll to be just like interested, like yeah. lychee. <laughs> and then I'll, yeah, because I'll marry lychee because give it to Bumble. <laughs> no. What, what's the question like? <laughs> it's like shoot shake, man. Yeah, shoot shake. Oh, we yeah, have to call nah. yeah, yeah, okay, uh, sorry. And then for you, Lichi, we've got um, Tony Brown. Yep. Hunger. Yep. Amanaki Mafi. <laughs> <laughs> shoot. Topical. Um, I'll shoot Tony. Ooh. I'll shoot Tony. No, nah, actually, I'll shoot Muffy. Yeah. I'll shoot I'll Muffy. <laughs> um, and then for my one nighter, I'll take Hunger. Yeah. Because we've had some awesome one nighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then. Uh, Brownie, long term marriage. Brownie, long term. Huh? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, far out. We had some awesome times in Tokyo, though. <laughs> yeah, I bet you so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Karaoke. Yeah, okay, I was just. <laughs> What is, what is, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, it would have to be um, Frank Sinatra, um, My Way, maybe. Do you want to give us a... No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Okay. What are you? <laughs> oh, I don't see anything. You, we, got, you guys experienced oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the, the lads. Um, we had Hunger's oh, karaoke, karaoke we, in South Africa. Oh, so yeah. every Tuesday mm-hmm. morning before training, took them lads to... Uh, what we used to go through in, uh, in Tokyo? You give us a six, background six, story. Yeah. Yeah. You're 12 o'clock at night, just to turn up with <laughs> like, This would be like your yeah. last song as you're about to hear. Huh? He'd be like, Corey Jane's a sleepover in the corner there. <laughs> He's never asleep. Oh, <laughs> maybe it was B, maybe it was B. It's not coming out. I don't know what else we got. Um, proudest moment as a chief? Lichi? First cap. First cap was verse. The Stormers in Cape Town, New yeah, Orleans. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was a goodie. You hunger? Too many um, to pick. Yeah, it's too many to pick. Um, guys, every, every day I get to spin in the Brahmin. With Pro Chief. Said that it's the way. So you, you're going to France now? Yep. How long are you signed with Toulon for? Uh, two. Two years. Two years. Do, you, do, you have a, do you have a plan? What's, what are you planning after that? Like, Do you have a plan after rugby? Or what's... Oh, just look after the body. You yeah. Still got recovery before, so making sure the body's good and going to play as long as I can. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you just smash the old body until it can't go no more. And so you wouldn't go from there, bro. I'm doing, actually, uh, tonight I'm going on a ride along with the fireman in Hamilton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See what it's like. See what it's like. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Well, you can always fall back on his master's degree. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> right. Forget about that. Yeah. What, was it, what, do you, what do they call it? An honorary. 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 honorary master's. Master's. I reckon it's going to be good at like a high performance consultant. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate like, come that. over. Hmm. In a system environment, yeah, it'd be like, well, you need a change in this yeah. environment. Yeah. I reckon, especially things like America University College, you turn up to a college university where rugby's like taking off now, mm. and you'd be like, hey, look, this is what I think you should do. Yeah, you guys think I just, just created a new job? Yeah, I reckon this because, like, I've been in a few teams, and um, you know, 
building culture is flipping hard. Yeah. And I've done it at the Chiefs in that. So you could, you've got the whole package. Mm. You've done all the diets. You've done all the training. <laughs> and then you've won titles, been All Blacks, mm. Sevens, Japan, France. So you've got, you know, a lot of experience. You don't just come in there and say... Well, it's essentially what a consultant is, someone's experience. Yeah. Mm. So when I, be- <clears throat> when I become head coach of Toshiba, I'm going to hire hunger and say, hey, look at my program I've got here and... <laughs> And you're going to offer me something decent? Well, decent I'll be available yeah, well, by we'll the end of the We'll see, I'll be 40 by then. <laughs> I'll be, oh no, I'll, I'll still be old. I'll be old as fuck too. Yeah, so I'll forget about the same age. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. I reckon you could do that. Yeah, it's, I like that. Hopefully, maybe it's a. Smart call, Luigi. Hmm. That was Luigi. Hunger's consultancy or something like that. We've had a few. A few of the boys obviously would um, take the piss when we ask for some questions, as you put, was probably expect, but this one from Brownie, Mitch Brown's an absolute doozy. Oh, he wants to know, would love it if you two could explain the rice, salmon, and tofu theory. Big fan. Cheers. From Mitch Brown. Can we dive into that, or is, this, is that for, uh, um, for another day? Well, <laughs> um, no, I think that's for another day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows what we're talking about, so. <laughs> don't know where the tofu came from. Yeah, I don't know. Far out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take that up with him, I think. Um, nice, nah, sweet. Yeah, I well, suppose it brings us yeah, to so close. Thanks, thanks for coming around, boys. It's, uh, oh, boys. I know you guys are busy Leech doing a lot of admin, and Leech is going to have to crawl his way out of the dog box, and Hunger, you've been doing yeah. a hell of a lot of admin trying yeah. to get ready for France. So. Otherwise, I'll just send an invoice to Code Trip and what? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, just put that through to the... No worries. Yeah, that's at, um, yeah, 103... Get fucked, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you there. Nah, that's um, nah, honest, boys. Been uh, enjoyable having you boys as both as teammates, and you know, I wish you all the best with uh, moving yeah, forward. Our paths may cross sometime in the future. Yeah, Hunger mm, might, yeah. might want to get into the owner of Toulon's yeah. um, air, and you know, me and Ellie. <laughs> We're a package deal, so. Bring the podcast over. Yeah, bring the podcast. Bring good social value, so. Nah, some too easy, oh, yeah. You should do some in the at the World Cup. Come over. Come over. Jump on Beaver's tour. Yeah. What about Mastercard? Mastercard. Wow. Well, jump on Beaver's tour when you're coming to the Emperor's. Yeah. Jump on Beaver's. Like C grade. Yeah. Take us out to the Woods. At least you'll be busy winning it for Japan. Yeah. We've got the All Blacks in, in uh, November too. Oh, yeah. well, you do too. Right. That'll be game over for them. We'll see. We'll see what happens. No, just, I'll, 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 just run it straight. <laughs> <laughs> Not at Sam though. Oh, we even have a That's that. Actually, can I go back to my greatest Chiefs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's your proudest moment as a Chief? Hunter? It's seeing Michael Lee <laughs> get lined up by Sam Kane, like literally right in front of me, and yeah. get his ribs caved in, <laughs> yeah. broken into pieces. Bro, it's honestly the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life of rugby. Bro, it's like literally, I was sitting on the bench, I was right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, five meters away from me. Yeah. Full credit to Leach, you know, bounced straight back out, finished the game. No, he didn't. Uh, he was like, oh, he was yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. He said it was the game. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he didn't want to get up. Did you not finish that game? No, nah, okay, well, 60 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's, that went in the first five minutes. Yeah, but he, like, didn't, he didn't want to get up, though, yeah. because oh. he knew I was there waiting, yeah, standing, yeah, waiting. Yeah, he, I was sitting next to you, and you were... He didn't want to look at you. He didn't want to look at you. He didn't want to bother It was so good. I was just... That is my proudest. Thank you, Sam Kane. Don't write the titles. Don't write the titles. I was watching Leach's moments like that. No, I was actually happy I got smashed. You know, after being on the other side, you know, being on the other side of the fence, yeah, you smoke like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Right. Thanks, All right. boys. All right. See you